Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing? So in the next week or two here, depending on when I decide to put this video out, we will be getting our next brand new character. The one that I think everybody's excited for, Zhongli. I know I'm personally super excited for this guy. This guy's kit looks super sweet. I'm really excited to play him. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going over a little bit how I plan on building my Zhongli, what artifacts I currently have set aside for him, what weapons I'm going to be looking to build, uh, and what weapons I would like to build if I decide to wish for them. So first, what I want to do is go over his kit a little bit. Uh, we do have some gifts here that we can take a look at, and then we'll go into what I'm planning to build as far as his overall kit goes. So jumping right in here, the first gift we have is his normal attacks, and this guy is flashy as hell. He's throwing his spear around. He's kicking it. I think that's what caught everybody's eye. Let's be honest. That looks real sweet. Uh, but, you know, his attacks are not going to be super strong. You know, he's a pole arm user. He's going to be just like Zhang Ling, where his attacks don't do a lot of damage, but he's going to do a lot of them and he's going to do a lot of them quickly so uh his basic deck pretty exciting actually it looks pretty sweet uh moving down here so he has two versions of his skill he has a press and a hold the press is going to summon uh this geo construct it's going to do a little bit of aoe damage you can only do one at a time unless you get further constellations and then he can do two at a time and then his hold is a little bit more exciting i feel like kind of like with razor how you know use his press skill pretty much never it's always the hold i feel like that's kind of going to be what uh zhang li is like so basically he does a bit of geo damage in aoe he makes a shield and then he absorbs a lot of geo energy from at least two enemies that he hits as long as they're affected by geo now i don't actually know if he will be pulling uh the geo energy from the enemies that he hits with the held skill as long as that all checks out uh we'll see when his character actually comes out because there aren't any indicators here when these enemies are affected by geo but uh this shield this is where his kit is really gonna be kicking but the big old damage the big boy damage is coming from his burst this thing is insane the scaling on the damage is absurd here uh and the fact that it applies a petrified status and mobilizing enemies we're going to want to get this thing up a lot. So we're also going to be focusing his kit around this and prioritizing the amount of times that we can use it. Okay, so now we head over to Genshin Impact and we can take a look at the artifacts that we've set aside. Now, the set I'm looking to go with is Retracing Bolide, a four piece set. Because like I said, I am going to be focusing, I believe, again, this is all initial, initial thoughts that I'm going to be using his held E the most building up a shield on him. And because he's geo, he's also going to be building a shield through his elemental reactions. You know, we're going to be getting a lot of shields. So because of that, I know I said shield a lot because of that, we want to get that additional 40% normal attack damage because his basic attacks aren't going to be that high damage dealing in terms of percentage. We want to get him as much damage as possible. The way I see him being built is like a really tanky just get in there and deal a bunch of damage just mess some stuff up like so we had child just a couple weeks ago right and child is in there he's kind of squishy uh he gets in there for a long time so you can't really heal him if you want to utilize him properly he gets in there does a ton of aoe um jungly's a little bit different because he can build a shield he can protect himself he can get in a lot of hits he can do a lot of aoe and just kind of mess up a group of enemies or you know, we'll see how we can do a single target enemies, but he seems like a guy who's just going to be like, yo, what's up? Come at me. And then he just like runs right through the enemy. So that's kind of how we're building him here. So currently on this piece, I have energy recharge and crit damage. Uh, I am going to be building a little bit of energy recharge, but you'll see with my weapon that I don't think it's super necessary to build more on the artifacts. But of course, crit and crit damage is going to be super nice, especially when it comes to that burst. The scaling is already insane. If we can get crits off that, perfecto. Uh, plus, we got a little bit of defense because, well, it's on there and we're trying to build him a little bit tankier. So we got that. Next up, we got his feather on this. This is whew, real good. So we got some crit rate. That's nice. We got some crit damage. That's super nice. Plus, we got some flat HP. And because all the shields scale off HP, that's a nice little subset to have. So hopefully we don't roll on that or especially elemental mastery too much. Hopefully it's just the crit, but that will be super nice. Next up on our timepiece. I mean, look, the, the main stat I don't think is where I want it. Uh, probably, 
you know you could do energy recharge on this but i don't think that's going to be super necessary i think attack is where i would like this piece to be but for now, I am going to be sticking with this HP piece. First of all, let's look at the substats. I mean, the substats are pretty nuts. Uh, I got pretty lucky with those, especially for Zhongli. Um, you know, he, the HP on this, it'll make him a little bit tankier, right? And it will also make his shields protect him even more. So, you know, potentially, you know, it's not going to increase his damage output, but it might help him be like a little bit more of a self-sustaining hero. We'll see how that works out on the cup. Uh, currently, I have physical damage bonus. Now, this is a piece that I actually brought over from my Noel, so I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this. Uh, it could actually be beneficial to go Geo damage, depending on how his kit plays out, but I have a feeling that physical damage bonus is going to be the preferred substat or main stat. Sorry. Um, you know, this piece has a decent amount of energy recharge, which I'm actually happy with. So that's why I'll be sticking with this piece for now, because like I said, I do want to get that energy recharge up. And then lastly, for our circlet here, we do have an offset piece, which isn't a problem. We already have our four piece set. I do have it just on attack percent. Um, I don't have it on crit yet, just because our uh, time piece isn't on attack. So I figured we get a little bit of attack percent in here but it's also rolled very well. We have both crit damage and crit rate, plus some flat attack. I do prefer flat attack, especially in small numbers, higher than percentage attack. So overall, I'm pretty happy uh, with the setup. There will, of course, be a little bit of tweaking in between. I am gonna do a couple more of the uh, Bolide domain runs. As I get them, we'll see if I can upgrade any of those pieces, uh, potentially finding a new piece uh, for the time piece. That would be the one that I potentially want an alternate of first. And next up, looking at the weapons, I'm going to be focusing on Favonius Lance. Now, that's partially because that's one of the, like, the only really good lances I have. The other ones I have access to right now are Dragon's Bane and Crescent Pike. And I think that Favonius Lance is gonna be really nice for him, especially because we have that energy recharge here as a weapon substat. And because we didn't focus on it, on his artifacts, we get that from here. In addition, the passive crits having a percent chance to generate more elemental orbs, you know, it's going to help us get to that burst a lot faster. So for me, I think that's the weapon that's best going to be built. If I had all, all the weapons in the world and I can go with whatever I want, of course, I would go with the new pole arm. It's like built for Zhongli. However, I don't know if I'm going to be rolling for it or not. It depends on how quickly I can get Zhongli and Jinyan up to Constellation 6. Uh, but if you're rolling for it, of course, that's going to be the best weapon for him. But otherwise, I'm thinking Favonius Lance is going to be the best weapon on him. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. So guys, hopefully you did enjoy this little sneak peek onto how I plan on building my Zhongli. Hopefully it gives you some ideas on how you can build your own Zhongli. Let me know down below if you guys are building your own Zhongli a little bit different. I'd like to see, you know, how other people are building their Zhongli. Are you building it kind of similarly to mine or are you doing something completely different? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing down below. But guys, that's all I got for today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you liked the video and you want to see more content from me, you can head over to my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash xjazze, or you can subscribe right here on YouTube. Click that red subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and like the video if you liked it. But guys, that's all I got for today. Hopefully you did enjoy and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.